everybody and welcome to the Paletti Rosa Homestead. Well, a few months ago, my husband got this book, quite a few months ago, and I just started reading it and I thought how interesting this book is. So I thought I'd do a video clip on it and put it on my channel to see if you all would be interested in some of the things that are in this book. Please comment me back. I'm going to do a short thing of the first couple chapters and some different things in it. And let me know if there's something you're interested in. If it's just something you individually that would like, and I'm going to show you the table of contents. Just let me know what you're interested in. Give me your email address and I'll send you a clip of it. How does that sound? Just something different and interesting. Let me go over the table of contents with you. Just so, you know, you can see what's in this book and let me know if it's something you're interested in. Here are the table of contents. And basically this right here, I'm gonna go over with you in this video. There is a lot in this book, a lot. You see, I'm getting a shadow. Okay, that's better. Making beer. I bet some of you would be interested in that. Did I miss a page in there? Oh, yeah. And there you go. Okay, basically it starts off and it talks about the, the writer, the author of this book, and how she grew up in the old-fashioned ways. It was really an interesting story. Okay, now it goes to the first chapter. And look at this picture. Isn't that neat? This is how back in the early days that the pioneers built their self-feeding fire. It talks about how to make it and everything. And how it would work is down here, they would start the fire. As it went on and the logs started like burning up, the, they would start falling down. And this is how they built it, step-by-step -step instructions. Now, 
Now, the second chapter here is very different. This is survival food of the Civil War and how they made hardtack biscuits. I hear they still make them today, but I mean, after reading this, I just, I don't know. I just don't know if I'd ever do this. I hear they're hard as a rock, but they will last forever. Let me know if you've ever heard of these. And this is the actual way to make it. And isn't this neat? She says you can go out and buy for $9 a ceramic planter bottom at the local home and garden store. Instead of using a cookie sheet or a pizza stone. Neat. And this is the explicit directions on how to do it. Now the next chapter we're gonna go through pretty quickly. It's the last one I'm basically going over. And these are just some recipes from the 13th, I'm sorry, the 18th century. Bacon fried apples. I don't know about vinegar lemonade, but Buttery sweet potatoes. Scrambled egg dinner. We've had, we sometimes have eggs for dinner, pancakes for dinner, whatever. Lemon pie filling. Mmm. Now remember, these recipes were from back in the old days. So there's nothing quick and easy, like, it's not like opening up something. Dumplings, mmm. Never heard of milk toast. Cinnamon sugar toast, my grandmother made, used to make that all the time. Soda biscuits, I remember my grandmother making them. more pages left that's it this one and the next one don't know about mud apples there and that's it for now like I said let me know if you're interested in anything I'll be glad to turn around and show you anything I can everybody have a great day and thank you for visiting the Paletti Rosa homestead bye bye